I don't believe it. I don't want to do it, but they made me do it. <sighs> What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart. And um, I don't want to do this, but they've made me do it. So, Bayonetta 3, they released like a trailer. It was super hype, incredibly hype. And they just, they just ruined it. They dropped the ball. And now we are in a catastrophic situation. How bad is it? The director, Ideki Kamiya, he was in the process of getting nuked. By the entire internet. For. Almost. 24 hours. It got too much. So much. That he. Kicked left Twitter. He got kicked off. Basically. Even. But the thing is. Just before he got kicked off Twitter. Even Twitter. Restricted. His. Account. Saying that there's suspicious activity on his account. Because he's calling people insects. Insignificant. And all this type of weird stuff, man. Like, oh, it's weird. It's, I don't even understand it, man. So, let's start from the beginning. I was going through my Twitter this morning. Yesterday. Evening. Sorry. It was, was it yesterday evening? Yeah, yesterday evening. And then scrolling a little bit too long, like like we all do. And um, I saw, and I saw a tweet from a lady called Helena Taylor. Yeah, the voice actor of Bayonetta. And I'm not gonna front. I did know this. I didn't know the voice actress was Helena Taylor. I didn't know she was on Twitter. I didn't know anything, right? So I came across it, you know, and I saw it, it was like, you know, it had the, like 11,000, like 11,000 views, 11 point something thousand views, right? And I got to admit, when I saw it, it said, it had a lot of hashtags, Bayonetta game, it said, um, Bayonetta, Bayonetta 3, Bayonutters, Boycotts, Nintendo um, Europe, Nintendo America, Nintendo Japan, Platinum Games, Nintendo, and it said, Friends, Worldlings, Bayonutters, hear ye. <laughs> Sounds like what Bayonetta would say, right? And I was thinking, what is this? Turns out she's voice actor to Bayonetta, and she was saying, basically, that Platinum Games are not even paying her a living wage. Yeah, she said, um, this is what she actually said. I don't care about an NDA. I can't even afford to start my car. What are they going to do? Take the clothes off my back? Good luck with that. And I was like, wait, what? And Because you can't believe what... I could not believe what I'm reading. And then Nintendo... I don't know who it was, Nintendo or Platinum Games, but they offered her not a really good offer, you know, for her work. So she said, what she's going to do, she's going to contact Hideki Kamiya and see what she can do. Contacted him, got someone in the Japanese uh, studio in Japan or in the studio, Platinum Games, to tell him the money that they're offering me is not adequate. I need money to live for this, for look how big the franchise of Bayonetta is. You know, I'm so happy and honoured to do this job. I'd be part of Bayonetta. Uh, but I want a decent, livable, fair wage. A respectable wage. I've worked hard for my craft. I think the final offer was 4,000 USD. Because that's what she said. She said her offer... I don't know whether it was the first offer, the final offer, or negotiated offer, or whichever. 
They offered her $4,000 to play the Void Actress of Bayonetta. Bayonetta, a franchise that I would say must be at least worth half a billion. Easy. Character has been around. I've been with Bayonetta for 12 to 13 years. I love that character. If you watch my channel, which I deeply appreciate you watching right now, you know there are three constants at least in every video. Four, other than, you know, Black Panther. Bayonetta, I'll always try to mention some way Bayonetta. I love my Bayo. Tay, I love Tay, you know this. And Berserk, Guts. I mean, look, come on, man, you know what it is. You know what it is already. And then I'm thinking to myself, Bayonetta. Our love, Bayonetta. This lady, Helena Taylor, nice to meet you, Helena, by the way. She's the voice of Bayonetta, the one that has been given Bayonetta that classy sass, that firecracker, the stylish, the, the fabulous one that's been bringing her to life. And you are not prepared to pay her a good wage, a decent livable wage. 4,000 USD. What would that do for you? Absolutely nothing. I don't even think that's not even two or three months rent. That will get you nowhere. That is not enough for you to live and do your job and do your recording and everything like that. That's nothing. That money's gone in an instant. You're working on these games for months. Sometimes even years. And you need to be ready when they call you. And you're, the only amount you're prepared to uh, pay her is 4000 USD. That's mad disrespect, man. Mad disrespect. So she was saying, boycott Bayonetta. And she did actually ask for money, right? Which I was, I was going to be very disappointed if she did, right? And I was waiting for that, but she didn't. She said... Off, but if you want the money that you would buy for this game, give it to charity. Okay, okay, okay. Good talk, good talk. And I just felt an overwhelming sense of disappointment. Like, I cannot believe this is real. Bayonetta. And you disrespect the main voice actress. The voice actress. Our Bayo. I'm confused. I'm so confused. And then you have Hideki Kamiya, the director of um, Bayonetta 1. And he's gone like game developer, man. Um, God Hand, Piano Free, Okami, Beautiful Joe, Wonderful 101, as we say, Bayonetta, Devil May Cry 1. He's made so many incredible godlike games. Mad World, Vanquish. Like this so many games man but as a person his persona on twitter he's a he seems like a very nasty like malicious person he doesn't seem like a nice person maybe malicious is strong right but he seems like a very nasty pos really bad I, don't f I used to follow him on Twitter, but I used to see his interactions. And he had a rule of engagement. And his rule of engagement was, don't talk to me in a foreign language. I mean, Twitter does have a translate fa tra um, function, but whatever. Do not ask me questions about Metal Gear Rising. Do not ask me questions about Bayonetta 2. This is when Bayonetta 2 was in limbo we didn't know what was going on with bayonetta 2 so a lot of people were asking that question i was asking that question as well do not ask and it's another one of his rules of engagement do not ask me repeat questions like questions that other people have asked me or you think other people have been asking me like and he was like um you guys and something like you guys are insects or um i don't speak to insects or something like that like, it's so strange, man. Like, who are you? Who are you? Who do you think you are? 
you got a game like Bayonetta, which is very, very much word of mouth, community driven success. I will use my small platform to shout from the rooftops how godlike and amazing Bayonetta is. Play the game. If you play it, you won't regret it. If you like action games, if you like games with cool characters and fighting um, good game mechanics and system games where you can learn new stuff and just be amazed by incredible epic set pieces and gameplay to match the incredible, wonderful cutscenes, Bayonetta is your game. And there's a lot of people that would do this. A lot of content creators, a lot of um, influencers, um, even people in the media, news, whichever, that love Bayonetta and see these games. And they will shout it from the rooftops and emphasise to their audience of Bayonetta. Because they want to support the game. Because if you want nice things, you have to talk about them, support them, and then they will grow and more people will get into it. It's crazy to me. Bayonetta is not a big enough franchise that the creator can be a POS. And calling people insects. Don't be doing that. You cannot afford to be doing that. Your game is not big enough. Your company is not big enough. You have been incurring an incredible amount of Fs. Fails. Your game, Babylon Fall, or whatever it is. Yeah, that game looked awful, awful, by the way. That game, gone. Obliterated. It's no longer in service. The game has not even been out six months. And already, the game is getting taken offline. I mean, I don't know why they would have looked at that game and thought that it was a good game. Because it isn't, right? So, you're not doing that well. Yet, you act like this. Who do you think people are going to take the side of? The voice actor of Bayonetta who's saying she doesn't even have enough money to run her car. All she's asking is for a decent living wage, not $4,000 USD for a character that is so beloved and a franchise that is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And you want to give her four thousand dollars to work on your project for years and pay her nothing disrespect what do you think's gonna happen and then um, hideki gamia come out saying um beware of my rules you've been warned you are insects and the world has changed in 2000 and 18, 2017, 2018, right? He's always been like this, yeah? He's always been nasty. He's always been a POS. This is the reason I unfollowed him on Twitter. Because I just didn't like his persona, his character. He just seems so nasty. And you know what I'm saying? Don't meet your heroes. Well, I never met him. But seeing him on Twitter was enough for me. But people were always like, Kami, um, Kamiya Sama has spoken. Yes, um, Kamiya Senpai. Um, Lord Kamiya, we bow down to you. Um, and all this type of weird stuff. I was thinking of, so you guys are cool with him talking like that. I did say something to him. Where I said something like, I asked a question about Bayonetta 2, but I said, I love Bayonetta. Um, your work is incredible. Always love your work, such and such. Um, and I can't wait when I see me and go adventure with Bayonetta. And then he said something to me like, um, don't ask me questions about Bayonetta 2. Uh Keep your business to yourself and leave me alone, right? And I thought to myself, I just asked you something. I just complimented your work. I said something nice to you. And then you come back at me with something like that. Maybe that wasn't exactly what he said. Maybe it was the translation um, not coming out correctly. But 
it's not going to get the translation so wrong that it's not going to come across bad when it's meant to be good. So it was definitely going in a bad direction. There was no even attempt, even if he didn't understand it, to say something nice. It was, don't chat to me, um, don't address me, uh, It does. I don't know what you're saying, but whatever. I thought to myself, I just said something nice to you, man. But then I see the way, this is the way he talks. He, it's like he's looking down on people. And I just felt a wave of disappointment. And that was when I unfollowed him and muted him. Because I didn't want to, I didn't want him to ruin my love for Bayonetta and his games that he works on. Because that will make me go completely off. And not say I ain't supporting you or your company or your game franchises. You're done with me. Right, so I just muted him and um, unfollowed him, right? And I just could never understand why people didn't call him out on it, really. People were actually like, yeah, you have spoken. Kamiya Senpai. I was thinking, you guys are weird, man. I'm done. If you go, on to, if you went onto his Twitter before it got, he deleted it, because he deleted his Twitter, he's now off Twitter. The reactions to his old tweet from 2018, 2019, that he's calling people insects and tens of thousands of people have liked, it's changed now. People are saying like, um, pay your voice actors, don't be a see you next Tuesday, you're such a horrible person, um, don't talk down to people. And it's like, a couple years ago, you guys were calling him Senpai. You guys were calling him Lord Kamiya. Lord has spoken. You were taking it. What All the disrespect, and him talking down to you, you were taking it. And now, you are upset at that talk. But then, 2020 did happen. The lockdown happened. People have come to an awakening that they're not going to be disrespected. There's too far sick and tired of it. The world has changed. So certain levels of disrespect will not be tolerated now. So the world has changed a little bit. I'm still standing in the same place today that I was standing in in 2018. When I saw that, I was disappointed, disgusted, unfollowed. I don't want to look at this guy. You're done. Right, but to see the disrespect to the voice actress, it's no good, man. It's no good, and this thing has blown up way more than I thought it would. Because, as I said before, when I watched the um, the her video originally, it had something like about eleven thousand views. Sorry, yeah, about eleven thousand. Yeah. I think it was coming close to like 12,000 or something like that, yeah? And that's when I commented on it um, yesterday. Because I was like really sad about that. But I didn't comment on the video where she said she didn't have enough money to run her car. So I didn't want to go scorched earth on Platinum Games. Because that's what I wanted to do. I was like, I was going to tag them and everything. Gave it a while. Did my thing throughout the whole day. Chilling out. Came back to it. Said, I'll, I'll reply to this lady. I feel like I have, my emotions have settled down now. I won't watch the video, but I do remember what she said. And when I went back to the video, the video that she put on Twitter had 6.8 million views. Oh, dear. So, within a matter of hours... It went, in, at the time, it was about 10 hours, right, that I was going to reply to the third tweet that I didn't have the... I, I couldn't reply to it, right, because it, it upset me that so much, right? From 11,000, in less than 11 hours, it went to 6.8 million views. I was seeing reports of it on TMZ, on IGN, um, just everywhere 
Um, I think there was some um, Twitter um, influencers and stuff like that that had tweeted about it and supporting her and stuff like that. I was thinking, oh, dear. That has blown up. No, I, the, I did not imagine it would blow up as much at 6.8. By the way, currently, right now, it, I think that tweet's been live less than 24 hours. Yeah, less than 24 hours. No, over 24 hours, by the way. Yeah, just, yeah, over 24 hours. It's at 8.5 million views. Let me refresh it. 8.6 million views. Wow. This is massive. This is a big catastrophic problem. This is why Hideki Kamiya came off Twitter. Because he's making matters worse. By basically being himself. Being a nasty POS. And it's a blow up. The woman's saying boycott Bayonetta and a lot of people are going to boycott Bayonetta. There's a lot of uh, social media people, uh, influencers that are saying, we're, yes, we're going to boycott it as well. They're not. They're going to play Bayonetta. Right. I don't know whether I'm going to turn my back on Bayonetta. I don't know. I'm 60-40. I know what I should do. I don't support the corporations. How am I going to support a corporation over a person that is getting wronged by the corporations? Multi-hundred million dollar company screwing over one talented, amazing voice actress that is just trying to do her best, earn a decent wage so she can carry on Living her dream. And you think we're going to take your side of it. That's is This is bad. This is not good PR. And I'm looking at my uh, pre-order. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. As I say, I'm 60-40. If you just show... Your staff, your voice actors, respect. She's a massive part of the character. And you disrespect her with that? How do you think this was going to go? Do you really think you could disrespect, throw away, cast aside the legendary voice of Bayonetta after 12, 13 years? And that's going to be it? You're going to get away with that? That's never going to come out. And then if it does come out. People are going to side with you. Think people are going to support you. If that's the case. They really don't get it man. People's. People stick together. People stick with people. People don't stick with corporations. Or governments. Or agencies. You know. All these multi-million. Or multi-billion dollar companies. That's not how it works. The people stick together. And if you watch my channel, you know I am pro people. Power to the people. That's me. I'm not a company person. I don't care about these corporations. I don't care about these companies. I'm more about the people than I am about any company or corporation. And it's nice to see that the people have rallied behind Elena Taylor, the voice of Bayo. Now you're going to pay a heavy price. Bayonetta cannot afford to take a hit. A single player game on the Nintendo. Bayo. Free. You cannot afford for people to be cancelling their pre-orders. Or turn away from you. Because that's the thing. People move on quickly. If you disrespect. If you put make us have a bitter taste in our mouth. Because of what you're doing. And people decide to turn away from you. People will not come back to you. Do you not understand this? Being good. Being decent. Unity. 
equals more opportunity. Do you not understand that? Look at Witcher 2, Witcher 3. Witcher 2, incredible amount of free DLC was given in that game. The DLC in that game was massive. Story, characters, amazing content in, in um, Witcher 2. Witcher 3, an even bigger game. Godlike graphics, incredible story, cutscenes, storylines, world, uh, everything. Lots of free DLC, costumes, um, weapons, skills. Quests, side quests, mini stories. Then they released expansions that were even bigger. Then there are, I've bought 50, 60 pound games. 50 pound games in the UK, which we translate to about 60, 60 USD, right? And the Witcher DLC is bigger, some of bigger than some of the 50 pound games that I bought. They released like, I think it was like two massive DLCs. As well as the free DLC. And they said, we will never do microtransactions. We just want to focus on making a good single player game. That follows the story of Triss, Yennefer, Gerald, Cyrilla. And the Wild Hunt. And the conclusion of their story. I want to give you guys something amazing to play. And they did that. No Michael Jones actions, no egregious monetizations, no stupid live service, no nothing like that. And they would fire shots at companies like EA, Activision Blizzard, Take Two, all these companies that do egregious monetization and microtransactions. That is why people love. Um, CD Projekt Red. And this is why Cyberpunk hurts so much. Because you either live, die to be the... Um, you die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And that's what happened with CD Projekt Red. Their whole corporation, their whole fame was built off the community loving their work and loving them for being pro player. Same thing like you look at something like Street Fighter. Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter was in the bin until Street Fighter 4. But the guy, uh, Yoshiro Ono, put out Street Fighter 4. He came to every single tournament. He was a lovely man. He was always being nice, always being kind, always saying how grateful he was for the community, always answering questions, always appear like he was listening and implementing different um, changes into the game based on the community feedback. He was listening. You look at someone like Phil Spencer, who clearly is always listening to the community and what people want want and the needs of different types of gamers and always being humble and then you have platinum games and hideki kamiya your game company is not that big you cannot afford to be acting like a pos a nasty pos don't be doing all that stop it and then you're acting like that, calling people insects, looking down on people, acting like you are better than people. You don't do that. You don't do that. You don't act like you're better than people. That's not how this thing works, man. We are all people. We're all normal people. No one person is better than the other. The only thing is, some people are in better situations than people. Some people have more money and more opportunities than people. Some people are better off than other people. But in terms of being better, no one person is better than another person. And that's the issue. His Twitter shows him to be like he is better than everybody else calling people insects you basically are dehumanizing people by calling them uh not even an animal an insect an insect you refer to people as insects that's crazy to me and now the way that you have treated this woman helena taylor now it's a blow up now it's a blow up from you calling people insects and you disrespecting her 
And then one of his tweets, he literally said that she was lying. And beware of my warning, insects. You've been warned, beware of my rules. And as I said, the internet absolutely nuked him into oblivion. To the point where he deleted his Twitter. Wild. He deleted his Twitter. Yeah, but the only thing I will say about that was... He was getting nuked. It was pretty bad. It was... It was I would never, ever forget that. Because I did actually was reading all the tweets that was going on. And... I don't feel sorry for him. I don't feel sorry for him at all. Right? But I did think to myself... Yikes. One person is getting absolutely dog piled on. Like he it was like tens of thousands of quote tweets because he turned off the uh, reply button. So a lot of people were quote tweeting him. And with quote tweets, you can see quote tweets. You can't remove that. So yeah, it was pretty bad. And now he's gone off Twitter. Um, catastrophic damage has been done to the Bayonetta franchise. Because of what... I don't know whether it was Nintendo or whether it was Platinum Games. But um, Hideki Kamiya's behaviour has not helped. And the fact that Helena's video is on there. And she's unemployed. She can't even have enough... Doesn't even have money to run her car. And the views are at 8.6 million. That optic is bad. That is the most catastrophic, the worst case scenario for any game. For a game, for anything. To get optics as in almost 9 million. And what she said is damning. It's so damning. I keep out of stuff like this. I cannot ignore this, bro. I cannot ignore it. I mean, I am touched by it because it's the voice of Bayonetta. Yeah, I'll admit that. So it is a little bit more personal than that, right? But... To hear this is real life. This is not an act. This is real life. I can't I can't turn away, man. I can't turn away. That's what I say. I I don't know what to do, Ben. I said I'm 60-40. With if I'm gonna buy it or not. <sighs> They're not gonna turn around. And reinstate her. And redo the lines of the game with her in it. Not after this. But. That's the only way. That they can fix the harm. That's going to be done. People will forget about this. Within two weeks. If even that. People will forget about this. But. If people. In this period. Between yesterday evening and midway through next week. People that have cancelled their pre-order will not get back on the Bayonetta train. They will be off the train because they won't forget. And there's people on the internet, influencers and media people that will not let the internet forget about this. As long as this woman... Is in a bad way. Nintendo and Platinum Games are never, ever going to forget. The success of this game is taking a nosedive. It's deeply unfortunate. And um, this is catastrophic. And Hideki Kamiya did this to himself, man. If you weren't a POS and you just treated this lady 
with the dignity, respect and honour that she earned from bringing such a beautiful character like Bayo to life, you won't be here. $4,000. She has been the voice for, what is it, 12 or 13 years. We love Bayonetta. A lot of people, the people that love Bayonetta are fanatical about that character because she's wonderful. She is part of that. And you can't even find it in yourselves. A one or hundreds of millions of dollar worth corporation. You can't find it in yourself to compensate this woman with the hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands that she deserves. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. I don't understand it, man. So Hideki Kamiya was getting nuked by the internet. I have no sympathy for him. You don't call people insects. You don't act like you're better than other than another person. You don't do that. Your game's not big enough. Your corp corporation or company is not big enough for you to be doing that. And even if it was, don't do that. Stop it. So you get what you deserve. And if people boycott this game, then people boycott the game. I really... I can't say anything. I'm going to talk to anybody. Oh, don't boycott the game or whichever. Because I said myself, I'm 60-40. I don't know what I'm going to do. But the one thing I do know is the treatment of Helena Taylor, unacceptable. And there's 8.6 million people that have currently watched the video that she put on Twitter. And I can... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that... It is going to be... Oh, wait a second. Elena, what happened? What happened? I just literally refreshed Elena Taylor's... Her tw The tweet is gone. Whoa, 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 what happened? Oh, no, no, no. It's still there, it's still there, it's still there. All good. No, I thought it was gone. I thought it was gone. Yeah, so eight point... Oh... Because it said, it said, why did it say that? It said tweets no longer available. Hmm, strange. But yeah, no, it's still there. So basically, if there's 8.6 million people that have seen that, I'm pretty sure there's going to be 8.6 million people that are not going to be happy. Right, and will support her. At least 8 million are going to support her. So yeah, Warriors, that's all I've got to say about that. A uh, very, very disappointing situation. Um, if there's any other um, issues or news that arrives is about this, I'll do a video and we could talk about it. But, you know, bullet points about this, main points. Bayonetta, voice actress, Helena Taylor, um, disrespected by, um, I don't know whether it's Nintendo... Or Platinum Games. But they were prepared to pay her. What she was worth. They offered her $4,000. To play Bayonetta. Unacceptable price. She said she doesn't even have enough money. To run a car. And you offer her $4,000 USD. Hideki Kamiya. Being a normal nasty POS. On Twitter. Calling people insects. Um, saying that Elena Taylor's a liar. That it's not true. This that the other. That it, they did offer her. Uh, better good money. Uh, this than the other and then just in general he's never been like a nice person he's always seemed like a very very mean nasty um person on twitter saying you people are insects um don't ask me questions don't ask me about metal gear rising don't ask me about being there too don't ask me nothing don't chat to me don't talk to me in foreign language um even though there's the translate option on twitter but hey whatever Technology is hard to use these days. I don't know. Right. Um, and now that video that Helena Taylor, the voice of Bayonetta for over, for over 12 years, um, has got 8.6 million views. Hideki Kamu was getting absolutely nuked by the internet. Like it was bad. The internet literally went scorched earth on him. It was bad. 
I was actually laughing at a lot of it because it was funny what people were saying, right? It was bad, but when you're nasty to people, eventually the people will come back and you cannot beat the internet. I don't care how good your games are, you cannot beat the internet. And Hideki Kamiya is just another victim of somebody who's not nice, not cool, being nasty and thinking that he can beat the internet. The internet is the undisputed champion of the world. And Hideki Kamiya, he found that out the hard way. So yeah, he's left Twitter, got absolutely nuked. And Helena Taylor, the voice of Bayonetta, um, that was not uh, in Bayonetta 3 because of the paid dispute. <sighs> I don't know what's going to happen uh, with her. If Bayonetta do, if um, Platinum Games or Nintendo do take any action against her, that will be catastrophic for Bayonetta franchise completely. And I, for one, will definitely, 100%, not buy Bayonetta 3. If they take action against her and do any type of madness towards her, like suing her or um, lawsuit or whichever... I will definitely not support Bayonetta again. I will not get Bayonetta. Um, I will not buy it because I've pre-ordered it. Like the physical edition um, from um, website. I will cancel that pre-order. I will not buy the physical edition. That's it. Right. So, um, yeah. that's a little. That was a rundown of what is happening. As I said, if there's any more new information, I'll do a video. Let you know. Okay, Warriors, that's your boy, Lionheart. All I've got to say about that, this crazy, catastrophic situation and, uh, oh, Bayonetta 3, I don't know. I'll catch you next time, Warriors. Laters.